Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. We've heard about that song, and the part about wondering what you are, you don't have to wonder so much anymore, because BAM! I'm here to tell you, as much as I can tell you, all about stars, alright? So, uh, let's get into it. I think this is going to be some stellar information for you, alright? So, uh, closest star is the sun. We want to be able to examine these stars and look up into the sky and learn about astronomy. Alright, so one thing that we know about stars is that they all have something called the absolute brightness. The absolute brightness is the total brightness. How bright is that star? Um, it's calculated by the total energy emitted per second. If it's low energy, it has a low absolute brightness. If it's high energy, it has a high absolute brightness. All right, that's the amount of energy emitted. Okay, so here is some examples uh, how you get, get it calculated. You have to calculate the temperature and the size of the star. So uh, when you have these two factors, sometimes you can have a, a hot object that can have the same absolute brightness as a large cold object okay so here are three different stars and they all are emitting the same amount of energy per second which is means they all have the same absolute brightness but this star is hotter in astronomy we kind of um, do it backwards where blue means hot and red means cold probably because astronomers are physicists and blue has a greater uh, amount of energy emitted in their light wavelengths. Uh, kind of complicated. Blue has a shorter wavelength. Anyway, but uh, blue is representing this small hot star. Alright, you can be very hot and be a small star, or you can be pretty cold would be a large star. But at any rate, they are still emitting the same amount of energy. So they have the same absolute brightness. Let's see if you're paying, paying attention. Class action. Read this and try to determine if you know the right answer. Pause the video now. Okay, here's the answer. See if you were right. Okay, star A. A has a greater absolute brightness than star B, which is larger if these two stars have the same surface temperature. Well, A is going to have to be uh, larger, okay, because A has a greater absolute brightness. Pretty simple. Here's another one. All right, read it and see if you are. Then pause the video. All right, here's the answer. Antares. Okay, stars in Antares and Rio have the same absolute brightness. If Antares is cooler, then at, with Antares has to be the larger star because it has to be able to in, emit more. Uh, energy. The second thing that astronomers study when they look at stars or characteristics that they study when they look at stars is the apparent brightness. This is different than absolute brightness. Apparent brightness is pretty easy. It's what the star's brightness looks at apparent to the observer. Okay, Astronomers call it luminosity. Okay, Apparent brightness depends on two things, the absolute brightness and the distance. A star or galaxy will appear bright if it is either really bright because it really is bright, intrinsically brighter, or because it's closer. Look at this observer. This observer is observing a measly small little light from this bicycle. The measly small light to the observer looks so bright. Why? Because it's so close. But the observer doesn't know is that this truck has a huge bright light. But since this truck is so far away to the observer, it's not that bright. So it's not very apparent that it's very bright. So it has, this truck has very low apparent brightness, okay? even though intrinsically they are brighter. Intrinsically, this truck is brighter. Hmm, let's apply this to stars. Okay. We're talking about apparent brightness still. Stars A and B could have the same apparent brightness even though star A is intrinsically fainter. In the night sky, A is very faint light. But B is a very bright light. Okay? But to the observer, 
he could be seeing it as they are the same brightness. In order for this to happen, B must be further away. So if B, a really, really bright light, is far away, and A, a dim light, is close to the observer, A and B could look like they have the same brightness. We call this having the same apparent brightness. So apparent to the observer, A and B look the same. Ha! Here's something here. Apparent brightness increases when more energy is emitted and decreases with distance. All of these lights look like they have the same, um, they, they probably have the same absolute brightness, but apparent to the observer, these lights that are closer are going to look brighter than the ones that are far away in the distance. Class action, let's see if you understand. Try to think about this question by yourself. Two stars to appear to be the same brightness in our night nice sky. If one is closer to the earth, it must have what? Pause the video now. Okay, here's the answer. See if you know. Boom, it's number three. Okay, if one is closer to the earth, it must have a lower absolute brightness. Okay, the one that's closer must have the lower brightness if they appear to be the same. If they have the apparent brightness to be the same. Here's another question. Two identical stars are at different distances from the Earth. The more distant star will have what? Pause it now. See if you know. Okay. The one more distance will have a lower absolute brightness. Okay, if you need to review, this is the end of what we've been talking about. If you need to review it, go ahead and read this, watch this video again. We learned two things. We learned about apparent brightness and absolute brightness. So I hope that I have, uh, I hope that uh, all these things are clear to you. Uh, I hope uh, as you study, it will become more apparent. These concepts will be more apparent to you. Hey, good luck on all your studies in astronomy.